Good morning, good afternoon, and if I don't see you, good evening. Welcome to the second annual Office Olympics held at the Carrollwood Cultural Center. With me as always is my co-host, the Ethel to my Fred, the McEnroe to my Connors, Adrian, how are you, Adrian? I'm well, Paul. How are you? It's been a great year. Well, we're eager to get ready with our Office Olympics. We have a few changes from last year. Uh, what are some of those changes we have going on? Well, I think the one change that I'm most excited about is this year the teams have a coach, wow. Mama La Rosa. Well, with that, we're going to take you out to our first event and our man on the scene, our correspondent, Aaron Washington. Aaron? Hey everybody, we are here for the Office Olympics at the Carolyn Cultural Center coming up with our first event. We have the ladies on Name That Tune. But the trick is, they gotta name that tune just using the bass drum. Good luck with that. Okay girls, come on. see that coming at all. I did it. Well, and you know what? A fun fact about one of our new contestants, Eric, Eric actually thought he was entering a beard competition. We're pretty excited about this one, aren't we? Not really. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to send it back out to you, Aaron. Let's see what we've got. Impress us. Hey everybody, we are here with event number two, which is our costume overload. What happens is, each team will have 30 seconds to get as many costume pieces on at a time. So, now we're going to have Ashley having the costumes put on her by Jessica. And our coach Terry has given them some ideas and some incentives. So, 30 seconds on the clock when they're ready. And... Go! Bye. Alright, 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 alright,
coming at all. I kind of did. Oh, well, you were awake for it, so. <laughs> yeah. One of our new contestants as well, uh, in addition to Eric, is, is Jessica LaPola joining our competition this year. Interesting f fun fact about Jessica. Jessica is actually fluent in over 10 languages. 10! In including English, Southern, <laughs> Canadian, uh, Elvish, a couple others that she's just made up, but she's very fluent in them. I am fluent in Sanskrit. Very <laughs> fluent. So with that, we're going to go back out to our next event called Cup Stacking. Who knew? Cups. <laughs> The infamous cup stack. Jessica, you're going to have 20 seconds to stack it in pyramids as many times as you can, all right? Can you get it? Can you get it? No, you better. All right. I'm a little thirsty. I'm going to go grab me a drink while you're stacking the cup. Sounds all good. right. Ladies and gentlemen, Jessica on the cup stack. Go! You're good. You got five seconds left. Woo! Five seconds left. Ah! Uh, time. Woo! All right. Good job, Jessica. Eric, are you ready for this? He's yeah, ready. Started. All right. All right. Go. Olympics educating as well as entertaining our audience. So next our final event is room cleanup. Aaron, off to you. We're going to see which team can clean the room the best, the fastest, and the most organized. Follow me. Okay. Are you ready to see your room? Yeah! All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you might want to sit down for this. There you have it. Oh, no. What happened here? Oh, my God. So, we're going to give you some time to work on this, and uh, we'll see how clean you get it. The idea is we want as much floor visible as possible. Is this enough? No, we need more floor. More floor. Where do, you, where do you want us to put these? That's totally up to you. Yeah. It's oh. very, it, it's, it's a very creative job. Or, it's a very creative event. <laughs> okay. All Bye. right. Follow well, me, guys. We've got a great room for them. I want you to see how good this room is. Now, the idea for this game, before you see the room, okay. is you have to get it as clean, organized, and as much open floor space as possible in the quickest time. Let's show them the room. Have at it, guys. All right. I can't, I can't walk in. That's right. That's right. But once you're done, we'll be able to do a lot more than just walk in, because we're going to be a ton of floor space. Right, guys? You're going to do this real good. Yeah and help me get my job out. I mean, the event, the event. Aaron, go check on them. You know what, coach? I am so glad that we put a event called Who Can Get the Room Cleanest, the fastest. Cause I had to clean that room and now I don't. That's right. Ah! <laughs> it's a dirty job and I'm glad we you don't. don't have to do it. That's right. I just right. hope they're not crying. Well, I'll tell you what. Wow. Each, each team will get 100 points. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. And we get clean room. <laughs> 100 points? Those rooms aren't clean. It is a sad, sad day when we have contestants walk out on a competition that 
I'm hearing a, an update from, from the office. It's because the teams walked out before completing the final task, the teams have been disqualified from that and will actually receive a negative points. We have a tie. Both teams have received three points for the competitions. I would have never predicted that. You are here for it the first in our history. Probably won't be duplicated again until next year. Generations will talk about this day. Well, it's been a fun Office Olympics. And uh, Adrian, if there's one thing you could take away, what would it be? Just a lot of fun, a lot of competition. Um, can't wait for next year. Yeah, I hope I get as good of a nap next year as I did this year. I'm sure you will, Paul. I'm sure I will as well. Well, with that, we're going to take you out to our closing ceremonies, the uh, best part of any Office Olympics. Aaron, to you. All right, well, from the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 Office Olympics was a huge success. We've got some very tired <laughs> participants, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Ashley, Jessica, Eric, Matthew. You guys are great, and um, we still got some of that room that needs to be cleaned.